Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install AA Panel. I'm going to be installing it on Ubuntu, but the instructions, which are you know just slightly different for CentOS and Debian, are also uh, something that I'm going to point out how to do in this video. So, uh, if that's something you want to learn how to do, let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial here. Okay, I'm at aapanel.com, and this is the the main official website for this hosting control panel and the installation instructions are, you know, they're on GitHub and all that stuff. But at the very bottom of the home page here, you'll see the system requirements and the installation instructions for CentOS, Ubuntu, and Debian. So let's go through the system requirements first. You got to make sure you have at least 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, they recommend basically three quarters of a gigabyte. And, um, just make sure that you don't already have a, a LEMP or a LAMP server, which means Apache, Nginx, PHP, MySQL, and all the other stuff installed because uh, part of the installer, well, the installer will uh, install a panel, but then within the hosting control panel, you can set up your, your LEMP server or your LAMP server. So we'll go, I'll go through the process with you, uh, but what we're going to do is install this on Ubuntu uh, with this command. So I'm going to copy that. And um, I already have a fresh install of Ubuntu at this IP address. So I'm going to SSH into that server. I'm going to assume that you already have a server where you want to install AA panel on. And then all I have to do is paste in that command, hit enter, and that's going to kick off the installation script. So um, do you want to install AA panel to the www directory now? Yes, I do. So why hit enter? And then it is starting to get all those files onto your local si or your remote system, depending on if you're working locally or remotely, and it's going to do its thing. So uh, in the past, this take took like two or three minutes. So uh, if something pops up as far as like user input is needed, I will uh, let you know. But otherwise, I'll continue with the, with the video when this finishes. Okay, guys, I'm back, and the installer script, as you can see here, is still doing its thing, but I wanted to also tell you guys how to, if, if you don't already know this, you can skip ahead, but how to uh, associate a domain name with your IP address. So for me, I bought my domain name from Namecheap, and you know the, I'm gonna go through the steps for that, but the same process applies pretty much anywhere you got your uh, your domain name from. So basically what we have to do is add an A record to our DNS settings to point to this IP address. So let me show you what that looks like. We'll minimize this for a second while we're doing this. And I'm gonna go into my Namecheap uh, dashboard here. And I wanna associate the domain name tonys.monster, um, what a domain name that is, with this, uh, this AA panel installation. So I'm gonna go to manage this and under my, again, this the, the steps will be different for you, uh, but just find your DNS settings. So I'm gonna go to advanced DNS here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, get rid of any type of records, DNS records that are already in here so we don't conflict with them. And then I'm gonna add a, a record for um, pointing to that IP address. So I can do that here, add an A record, the host, uh, the typical convention for that uh, at sign is pointing to this full domain name. And the IP address is the IP address of our server, which is 45797.30. So we'll do that, save those changes, and then we'll also add another A record for www.tonys.monster, and that's gonna go to the same IP address. So we'll save those changes, and that, you know, this can take anywhere from like being instantly available to uh, a couple minutes or even hours for this to actually uh, work, but we can test that out uh, depending on how far along the installation is for AA panel. So for now we're done in here. I think we can check on the status of our installation and it's still going. So um, actually, there we go. Three minutes, three minutes later exactly, uh, we are done and we're good to go. So you can see here that uh, it was successfully installed. Um, we can access it via the IP address at this uh, URL. So let's try that. And uh, then we'll also try to access it with the domain name too. So let's minimize this again and then open up a new tab, type that in, hit enter. And there we go, we're accessing the AA panel login screen. Um, let's also try to do, instead of the IP address, let's try to access it with the domain name. So let's see, tonys.monster, hit enter. And that works as well. So our DNS records are configured properly. Um, 
All right, so when you log in, I believe you use your credentials for your uh, the user that you logged into the server with. So for me, that's admin and then my password. So we'll log in here. Oh, that's not right. Uh, bear with me for a second until I figure out what the password is. Okay, sorry about that. I was completely wrong. Uh, I need to read what's on the screen here. So the username and password is given at the uh, part of the installation. So here's the username. I'll copy that, uh, paste that in, and then the password. We'll get that as well and paste that in. And now it wants us to ver enter this verification code, Oof, which looks like a, a hard one. Um, T, P, I don't know. There's like letters on top of each other. Maybe it's just T D D O T C H. Yeah, that that was a hard verification code. Sorry guys. Let's uh try to speed this along. So this one's a little bit it's Q N P M. Login. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we're gonna log into the uh, AA panel dashboard and now like I was saying, this is the part where you choose between a lint um basically an Nginx server for your web server or an Apache web server. So for me, and they also recommend it here, as you can see, um, let's do a, I call it a LEMP server, Linux, Nginx, MySQL, PHP, but they're uh, doing this explicitly with the N for Nginx. So let's do an Nginx um, installation. It's a one click install. We'll do the fast method so we don't have to compile all the packages and we'll click on this to install it. And again, typically in my case, this took right around 15 minutes to install. So we're not gonna sit through that. I'll pause the video again and catch up with you when it finishes. Okay guys, I'm back about 15 minutes later and the installation of the server, the LEMP server has finished. So we're good to go as you can see here. Um, let, let me show you a couple things in here in the AA panel in case you're not familiar with it. So uh, this is our home screen. This is where we can see an overview of our server, such as the, the status, CPU usage, memory usage, all that stuff. Um, traffic coming in at this point, uh, live view of that. And probably what you're interested in is setting up a website. So I'll show you a basic uh, website setup here, and we can do that under website on the left hand side and you can have multiple different websites but we'll just start by creating uh, a new site here first uh, domain name uh, we're going to use the same domain name that we already pointed here so tonys.monster and uh, the description <laughs> I, I have no idea tonys monster website um, and this is the physical path on the server where this is going to be installed to so we'll check that out in a bit if you want F FTP access, you can enable that. Uh, we won't do that. Um, database access, you can set that up as well. Uh, again, I won't do that. I just want to keep this very simple. We will install uh, PHP 7.4 in this case. That's the only option. And site category, if you want to have multiple categories for your sites, you can set that up as well. Um, SSL, if you want an SSL certificate for this and to redirect, you can do that. And we can do that because we have already pointed the domain name at the A record. So let's go ahead and submit this to add a new site and that will do its thing. And I guess while that's going on in the background, let's look under the hood uh, at the www directory to see what's going on. So uh, this again is the terminal window where we're logged in here. And if you go to www, directory in here we have www root so let's go into www root whoops www root and in here we have the new website tonys.monster so let's go into there and you have a basic 404 html page and an index page so let's see what it looks like let's go to tonys.monster and what do we get we get the loading of that default uh, html page um, if we wanted to modify that, uh, we could do that. So if we open up the index.html page with a f your favorite text editor, I'm going to use Vim. And um, let's just, let's start from scratch. Let's get rid of, you know, let's just make this a basic HTML page with not a lot of content in here. And we'll just say, make a big header one element, hello world. 
you know, something like that. We'll save that. And because that's we're we're editing our this index.html file that's being shared with the public, it's publicly accessible, uh, we should see those changes reflect immediately. So we'll refresh the page. We get our hello world h1 tag. Um, please note that we did install that SSL certificate and it, we are being served and redirected to the HTTPS version of our website. Uh, we got the lock icon, so that means the connection is secure and we do have a, a certificate, an SSL certificate installed. And let's look at the details here, if we can see. Yep, it's a it's a Let's Encrypt certificate. So um, you're all set up as far as, or as far as that is concerned. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. Um, like I said, you can do this multiple times for multiple different websites. Um, if you are interested in FTP access, they have that here. Databases, we didn't do anything with databases, so that's not set up at this point. Um, whoops, refresh the page. I don't know what happened. Let's just go back here. Uh-oh, I lost connection to my site. Hold on till I resolve this. Okay guys, I'm back and I figured out what's happening. As you can see, there's an SSL protocol error and that's because we installed that SSL certificate. And basically we're reusing the domain name for the, the hosting control panel and the, the website itself. So there's some weird caching things that happen at this point. Um, but in order to get around that, I'm just gonna open up a guest window or you can do an incognito window and log back in with the um, the internal address that was given to you at installation. So I'm gonna do that, and you can use the IP or the domain name at this point, it shouldn't matter, but just make sure you're using uh, HTTP, okay? And then we can log in with those credentials that were given, so our username and our password, and then we should be back to where we were before. So let's log in, and uh, yeah, so we still have our website here that's up and running. Um, I was clicking on the databases to show you that uh, you could access uh, PHP my admin, but of course we don't have any um, uh, any databases at, the, at this point. Let me see if these credentials work as well. So the username for that and the password, but this I would think, well, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, you need a, a MySQL user and password name to log into here. So you'll have that after you um, create your first database. Okay, so uh, we saw the monitor on the home page. Um, this is a little bit more uh, detailed as far as that, and there's obviously nothing here because this website isn't really um, being used at, at this point. There's no visitors coming here. Um, but yeah, we can go through all these, but the thing I would just wanna show you is the app store down here. This is where you get these um, really easy to install uh, packages and pieces of software in here and and again we oops we won't go through any of these um let me just show you let, let's look through a couple so you have uh something aa panel mobile easily manage your server for anyway. so like a mobile app integration for that um let's see on the second page what we got here uh different version of php my admin a docker manager memcache redis an open lightspeed server mail server, all this stuff, fail to ban manager. So there's a bunch of cool packages in here. Um, Python, if you're gonna do some type of Python websites uh, or just Python backend stuff. Uh, Google Drive, very, very cool uh, set of packages that you can install. So um, just wanna make you aware of that. Um, and then uh, let's see under settings, is there anything? Yeah, you can change uh, the port instead of being 888, and I think we saw that uh, message uh, on the home screen that that was not the best port to use, so you, you can change that as well. Um, so yeah, as far as this installation tutorial is concerned, you should be all set up and good to go with AA panel. We did a basic website so you know how to uh, set that up from a basic perspective. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.